the step deviation methods. To make things further simple, in the last example, if we divide the values in the entire column fourth given by di by 15, we would get smaller numbers to multiply with fi. So let ui equals xi minus a divided by h, where a is the assumed mean and h is the class size. Let u bar equals summation fi ui divided by summation fi. Now substituting the values of a comma h comma summation fi ui and summation fi we get x bar equals 47.5 plus 15 into 29 by 30. This implies x bar equals 47.5 plus 14.5 is equal to 62. The result obtained by all the three methods is the same. So the choice of method to be used depends on the numerical values of xi and fi. If xi and fi are sufficiently small, then the direct method is an appropriate choice. If xi and fi are numerically large numbers, then we can go for the assumed mean method or step deviation method. Step deviation method. Let us find the relation between u bar and x bar. We have ui is equal to xi minus a by h. Therefore, u bar is equal to summation fi xi minus a divided by h divided by summation fi, which equals 1 by h bracket open summation fi xi minus a summation fi divided by summation fi bracket close which equals 1 by h summation fi xi divided by summation fi minus a summation fi divided by summation fi which equals 1 by h bracket open x bar minus a bracket close so h u bar is equal to x bar minus a that is x bar equals a plus h into u bar. So x bar equals a plus h into summation fi ui divided by summation fi.